Good evening, welcome back to Marty's Tying Bench. Once again, I'm putting together kits for this week's Vice Squad. And the pattern I've chosen is called a Bionic Midge. It's a pattern by Mark Benam uh, of Casper, Wyoming. Nice, slender little midge that's easier to tie in the smaller sizes, and I think it has just the right amount of bling to it. Now, I'm tying it on a size 18 this evening. Uh, 20s and 22s are very good. The thread, you want to use a thin thread, a dot. This happens to be a uni camel. UTC thread will work quite well. Matter of fact, it'll be a little easier to flatten. And that's a skill you'll want to practice for this pattern. For Flash, I've got Crystal Flash root beer. I'm going to take two strands of it and tie it in right at this point where I started my thread and leave an inch of it sticking out the front. That'll make it a little easier to handle later when we do the wing buds. Now take a minute if you need to and flatten your thread. And as best you can make touching turns from front to back and if you use the barb of the hook as an index point that will take you right about to the end of the straight part of the shank. Now I'm going to reach back here and trim these very short. If you notice they're about the same length or enough length to get back over the bend of the hook. Now for rib I'm going to use ultra wire and on a size 18 you can use small. I've got extra small here. You'll definitely want to use extra small if you go any smaller than a size 18. And I'm just going to get one or two turns in there. And that copper wire is about the same length as my thread body. And now I'm going to come forward and just lash that wire to the near side of the hook as best I can. I'm going to make touching turns with flattened thread. And ideally none of the copper wire is going to show through. This isn't too bad. And then I'll rib. And here I am, right back at that tie-in point. Now what I'm going to do is make a few more turns towards the eye so that I can pull these things back right on the side. Just lay it right next to the hook shank. There you go. You want to write down on the right down on the lateral line. For thorax, I'm going to dub with superfine mahogany brown. Now you're going to tie this in a number of different colors. You're going to tie it in reds, blacks, cream, and you'll pick a dubbing that goes with your thread body. I like to have the thorax just a little bit darker. Doesn't take much dubbing. And I'm just going to make a little cylinder up front just so it's bigger in diameter than the thread body. Now to get the kink out of this crystal flash we're just gonna stroke it a little bit and the wrap of thread we make is gonna be pretty loose until we get it into place. That gives you a nice flat reflective surface there. Let me do the same on the near side. Just a couple of terms. There you go. Nice and flat. And then I like to pull these back out of the way and cinch them down with my whip finish. I 
I'm not really binding much material down here so I don't worry about head cement. Ready to trim. There you go. Now you got a nice skinny midge, a bionic midge.